in case you missed it, young U.S. trampolinists and rhythmic gymnasts really performed well in the Junior Pan Am Games, claiming multiple medals. This story really made us want to list the eight best gymnastic moments while we're on the topic, so be sure to stay tuned for that as well. With that out of the way, let's move on into our main story. Firstly, U.S. trampolinists and rhythmists score big in the Junior Pan Am Games. Trampolinists and rhythmists from the U.S. had a pretty successful day in the Junior Pan Am Games, where they qualified in almost all eligible finals that were to be held. The event was held in Cali, Colombia, and it saw athletes scoring multiple medals for the country. When talking strictly about the gold, Elijah Vogel of the Longmont, Colorado Elevated Trampoline Sports Academy won a silver medal in individual trampoline, Sarah Marotti of San Diego, California, Emerald City Academy of Rhythmic Gymnastics, and Nayen Polini Ashinafi of Reseda, California Rhythmic Academy of Los Angeles won a bronze and silver medal, respectively, in individual rhythmic gymnastics. The U.S. Rhythmic Group overall were awarded a bronze medal for their collective performance. When talking about these scores overall, Paulini Ashinafi scored 78.35 in the rhythmic gymnastics, while Sarah Marotti scored 76.550, but both lagged behind the leading scorer from Brazil, Maria Eduardo Alexandra, who ended up with 79.600 points. Mariotti did, however, make up for this lag by scoring the highest points in club and ribbons with 20.7 and 17.7 respectively. On the men's side, partners Elijah Vogel and Zachary Ramachi ended up with a high score in men's synchro with 47.41 in the event final. Vogel also winded up in second place in the individual competition with a 55.58 score. Unfortunately, the women's synchro team could not qualify for the finals like the men did. Additionally, the athletes from the IK School of Gymnastics scored a collective group bronze medal for their performance in the rhythmic all-round competition. The men and women from the U.S. really seemed to have a lot of potential, and it would be exciting to see how they would perform as they would grow up and compete in the bigger competitions. Now that we've done our main story, let us look back on the top eight gymnastic moments in the history of the sport. First, Olga Kerbut shocks the world. We normally regard gymnastics as a sport of young people. After 25, your body is just not in the shape generally to perform the sort of stunts that are required in professional gymnastics. Believe it or not though, this was not always the norm in professional gymnastics. Before 1972, gymnastics were generally older. This however all changed in the 1972 Olympics held in Munich when a 17-year-old Soviet gymnast, Olga Olga Kerbet shocked the world with her performance. The young athlete shocked the world with her mesmerizing and charismatic moves on both the balance beam and the uneven bars. This performance was so good that from here on out, younger aged athletes have a monopoly on professional gymnastics. Next, Nadia Comaneci with the first ever perfect 10. It is generally considered impossible for anyone to score a perfect 10. The idea seems unfathomable. How do you perform so well that there is no flaw in anything you do? Somehow, this is exactly what the Romanian Nadia Comaneci did anyway. In the 1976 Olympics, by the time Nadia was done with her performance, the scoreboard read 10.0. What is more baffling is that Nadia was only 14 when she performed that feat. All in all, this moment will always be etched in history as one of the greatest moments in gymnastics history. Up next, Carrie Strug, landed an impossible vault. Older America viewers may remember this moment fondly as it is generally considered one of the best TV moments of the 90s. In the 1996 Olympics held in the US, hometown hero did the impossible when she stuck on her second vault while being injured. Landing on one leg, all she could do was land a brave smile before falling to the ground in sheer agony. This disturbing display of athletic prowess did end up winning her the gold medal, although some argue that this was not for her to win the gold because their counterparts, the Russians, already had a very poor performance. Even if it was unnecessary, what a way to put the nail in the coffin. Now, Svelta Korkina, never say die attitude, wins her the Olympic gold medal. As mentioned before, the Russians did not have a good run in the 1996 Olympics. Russian gymnast Svelta Korkina missed her main move
move on the uneven bars, which ended up landing her in the 15th position. However, she did not give up, and eventually a few days later, she did not lose her grip this time, and ended up bagging a gold medal for herself and her country. Now, Shun Fujimoto performs with a broken knee. Another feat to marvel at, similar to Carrie Strug, achieved in the 1996 Olympics, is the 1976 Olympics, Japanese Shun Fujimoto finished in second place despite having a broken knee. His performance was airborne and did not require the use of a knee, but regardless, it must have led to an excruciating amount of pain to go through with the performance. Next on this list, Michaela Maruni breaks the US curse with style. After the hometown success in the 1996 Olympics, Team US eventually fell out of favor and did not win another gold medal for 16 years. This curse was broken by Michaela Maroney. In the 2012 Olympics, in the best way possible when she achieved a score of 9.73 out of 10. To add to that, she had an amazing difficulty score of 6.33. The vault she made also earned her the honor of the highest score achieved in any gymnastic routine of the Olympics. Up next, Gabby Douglas inspires countless aspiring black gymnasts. It is often hard for black athletes to prosper in the United States due to systemic problems preventing them succeeding. Despite all odds against her, Gabby Douglas became the first black woman to score an Olympic gold medal during the 2012 Olympics. This happened in the all-round and came after a very close encounter with Russian Victoria Komova. This was not the only feat she achieved during this iteration of the Olympics. She ended up becoming the first gymnast, male or female, to win a gold medal in both the team and the all-round competitions. This victory would have surely inspired countless young black women to pursue gymnastics. Next, Simone Biles wins four gold medals in a row. Simone Biles is a household name in the world of Olympic sports. Chances are that even if you don't follow professional gymnastics, you are aware of her name. When talking about the greatest sportsman of all time, the conversation often seems to eventually mention her. And this is the reason why. In the 2016 Olympics, Simone Biles made history when she won four gold medals and one bronze medal. With a score of 62.198, she was ahead of her next best competitor by a whopping two points. This dominant performance is one that fans of gymnastics will remember for ages. Next, the routine of a lifetime. American male gymnast Paul Hamm had a pretty disappointing start at the 2004 Olympics when he had an abysmal performance on his vault. However, he did not give up and went to participate in the last individual all-round competition, hoping for some form of redemption. This proved successful as the final scorecard was a tremendous 9.833, which many pundits have called the greatest routine they have ever seen in their life. There was some controversy that the medal should have gone to the South Korean Yang Tae-young, and many pointed towards the error in the scoring. However, even if that is the case, it should not take away from the fact that this performance was one of the greatest comebacks in gymnast history, and happened on the biggest stage of them all, the Olympics. Lastly, Nastya Lyukin wins despite the modern scoring system. In 2008 Olympics, a new system was implemented whereby gymnasts were not only judged on their execution, but also on the difficulty of the move that is being performed. This caused a lot of controversy within the gymnast community, as critics argue that this has drastically changed how gymnastics are played at an Olympic level, and this would lead to athletes finding it difficult to adjust to the changes suddenly. Now, this was also the time when Sean Johnson went up against Nastia Liukin. This is quite the storied rivalry in gymnastics, which even people who scarcely follow gymnastics would know about. Liukin not only beat her longtime rival, but she did it with such ease that any argument under the new system eroded away immediately. And that was our list. There are probably going to be many exciting follow-up news from the Pan Am Games, and we will be sure to keep you up to date with that. Overall, what did you think are the greatest gymnastic moments of all time? If you don't follow gymnastics that much, have your interests in the sport peaked when watching this video? Let us know all about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We will be back with more content soon. Until then, stay tuned.